Hello, I'm James Blake, sanitation supervisor for Bay City. The trash truck behind me is an automated trash truck. It picks up cans automatically, different from a rear loader where the driver stays in the truck where we don't need people on the back throwing it in. Well, there are several reasons why placement of trash carts and recycling bins and yard waste bins are very important. One, the automated truck only has a six foot reach. Okay, so if you have your uh, trash cart near the back end of your car, and it may be three foot away from the car, but because the truck has to pull so far away to avoid hitting your car, it cannot reach the can properly. The next thing is the placement of cans around the trash cart, like your recycling bin and your yard waste bin. When you have them too close, when the claw comes in to close, it'll either grab the recycling bin or it'll grab it and crack it. It'll knock it over, it'll dump all the recycling out. It could do several things. Same thing with the yard waste bin. The yard waste bin typically gets knocked right on over and all the yard waste spills out. The first placement was incorrect because you notice the recycling bin was extremely close to the trash cart. I understand that people like to have a very uniform, clean looking setup with their trash, but unfortunately, you go in to grab that can, you end up hitting the recycling bin, either knocking it over or breaking it. The second part of that is where the, the two trash carts are together. In order to go in and grab that, you have to have some space there. That's why we have three foot to give us plenty of clearance in there to grab it. If you don't, you run the risk of knocking the, the uh, trash cart right on over. The third is the yard waste bin. If it's right close to the uh, trash cart, then either you're going to crush the can or you're going to knock the yard waste all over and then it's going to have to get picked back up. The one that was correct makes it very good because everything is spaced real nice. The driver can go in very quickly, grab the trash cart, pick it up, dump it, go to the next one, pick it up, dump it, and utilize that full eight second cycle in order to get to your neighbor's trash can and the rest of the people on your block faster and efficiently. If we space our items correctly, this makes our job a little bit faster in order to prevent things like overtime um, damage to recycling bins, which also cost the city money. Also, yard waste bins, so the customer doesn't have to buy new ones. And uh, it can save on fuel, all types of things. So it really is a cost saver. And not to mention it keeps the customers happy by getting their trash picked up in a timely fashion. When you have your trash cart overfilled, several things can happen. One, trash could spill out and fall to the ground and then that requires the driver to get out and pick it up. Two, it could not necessarily be tied. When he picks it up, all the trash that is loose ends up falling out on the ground and if it's very windy, it blows all down the road. Three, it's a hazardous concern because animals come in there, they rip it apart, all that kind of stuff, and then there's trash all over the ground as well. Typically in one route, it's anywhere from 650 to 800 cans. So if we stopped at every single can and picked up something that had f either fallen out or picked up extra bags or picked over not picked up knocked over bags that came out of an overfilled cart, we would be there the entire day and it would just end up costing the city more money in the long run. Thank you for taking a little time to uh, learn about our automated trucks and remember to take the pride at curbside.